Hey, hey everyone, it's me, Kylan, and I'm here to do two things with you today. Number one is a pretest. Sometimes you can feel very nervous when you do a test, but a pretest is a great test for you and your teacher. A pretest shows you and your teacher what you already know and what you need to know. And anything that you need to know about thinking mathematically, your teacher can show you so that you can add it to your mathematical backpack. When you come across problems that need some math skills, you can whip out what you know from your maths backpack. Now in the pretest, try your best. Believe in yourself. And if you get something wrong, don't worry, because your teacher will be able to see what you need to know. They'll be able to show you, teach you, you'll be able to learn it, so that next time you will succeed. Now the second thing we're going to be doing today is looking at how to count on one and two. Now when you come across a math problem and you need to count on one, add one, you can do it by just going to the next number. Sometimes I find it easier if I clap, or if I jump, or if I do a little nod to help me think of the next number. For example, six, add one. Six, seven. Six add one is seven. It's the next number. Pretty cool, huh? Now, when you are counting on two. Oh, that's more than one. So you have to do a little bit more thinking. The best thing that I like to do is to think of the next number silently in my mind and then go to the number afterwards. For example, five add two. Five, seven. The answer is seven. Now I counted five out loud, I said six in my mind, so I knew the answer was going to be, that's right, seven. You guys are so clever. Now sometimes there will be problems that will pop up and the numbers, sometimes it's a bit tricky to know what to do. For example, one add eight. Do I go one, two, three, four, well, number one, please, no fingers. You guys are too clever for fingers. We never count with fingers. Instead, turn the numbers around. Can you jump up and turn around? Just like you turn around, you can turn around the numbers. So instead of it being one add eight, you can do eight add one. Eight add one, nine. <laughs> Now, clever kids, don't forget that you can always try your best. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. Your teacher and me, we're here for you.